guys welcome to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well or welcome back if you've been here before um if you haven't been here before hi i'm lucy um i'm a mum of two little girls they are three and four i am pregnant with number three and yeah this is my 15 week pregnancy update i thought i'd already filmed this i went onto my youtube studio thing and was like where's my 15 week update video because it's meant to go live in like 52 minutes and um i was like i swear i filmed that no i dreamt that i filmed it so now i'm filming it um i am on my trusty baby center website to tell you a little bit about the baby this week um the baby is 10 centimeters about four inches from head to bottom weighs about 70 grams Roughly the same size of an apple. Respiratory system is becoming more advanced. Uh, ugh. That tasted like toothpaste. <sighs> He's using his swallowing and sucking abilities to breathe in the amniotic fluid, which is a good practice for developing lungs. Um, when I went for my 12 week scan, they sort of did something on the scan and then it showed you um, him or her sucking the amniotic fluid through their system, which was snazzy to see. Um, the baby's bones and skeleton are hardening and muscle tissue continues to develop. Legs are still short and growing every day. Baby's eyes are still shut but they now become insensitive to light. Hearing abilities are developing too. By the end of the week you can probably hear your heart beating and your tummy gurgling. Um, he may even hear the muffled sound of your voice. <laughs> the retching as I just puke all the time. <laughs> um, what else have we got? That's about it basically. That's, oh, that's all for this week. There's not really on there. Um, I haven't been that sick. Yesterday was a really horrible day for sick. Um, I'm still taking my medication. I'm taking it three times a day. However, I had to ring my doctors yesterday because I needed a repeat. And my doctor said she doesn't want me taking them for much longer. And I'm a little bit scared about this because with the girls... I was sick from the day I found out I was pregnant until the day they were born. Um, and I was medicated um, the whole time. So I'm a little bit nervous in case I have to stop the medicine and then I'm still sick. And then I get to the point where I'm so sick that I can't then start taking the medicine. And then you end up in hospital on an IV and have to have... And yeah, I just don't want to, I'm a little bit nervous about that. I've got my midwife on Monday for my 16 week appointment. So I will have a little discussion with her. Um, but yeah, I, the sickness is definitely less. Some days I feel absolutely fine. Um, but then yesterday morning I got up and I didn't feel very good in the morning. I had my breakfast and then I threw up my breakfast. Um, and then I tried to have some toast and I threw that up as well. And then I had some crisps and I was okay. Kind of salty stuff. Um, bland salty stuff seems to be okay but then today I woke up and I feel fine just got a bit of a headache I am gagging a lot when I brush my teeth now I really really hate it um, and I've never I don't think I've ever experienced this before in pregnancy is minging like brushing your teeth and then just going because <laughs> oh, I don't know I just I hate it it's nasty and um, so I'm hoping that goes soon um, I'm sleeping really good. I'm only having to get up like once or twice in the night for a wee, which is fine. Headaches are a lot less since I've been drinking more water. Still on the fizzy stuff. A couple of days ago, I had a whole day of horrible cramps, which I've never really experienced. It was like, felt like period pains right in the middle where you experience period pains and then in my back as well and that was a whole day of that no idea what it was but it's gone now i am um, i'm feeling little movements every now and then it's nothing there's no pattern to it it's no um like if you if you don't pay attention to it you'll miss it kind of thing um and i think with aria my second i think i felt it earlier um than now just because I was skinnier. I've got some timber on me now. So I think the fat buffers the movement. I think that's, I think that happens. Yeah, that happens. Um, so yeah, my stomach fat is um 
stopping me from feeling as much as I did previously. Um, I had a big sort out this morning. That's all the baby stuff I showed you last week. I went through and tidied it all, folded it all. Um, we went to look at buggies. I found one that I want. We can't have it because it's so expensive. Um, we need an off-road buggy because we live in the middle of nowhere and there's like not even any paths where we live. Um, and all the walks that we take the girls on are literally across fields. So we need a buggy that can be easily pushed over fields because I've experienced um, using a buggy that's not made for off-road or like a, I don't know, a cheaper buggy. I've had, I've been quite lucky with my buggies. I had enough Baby Vista for Mika, which I absolutely loved. Ben's mum bought me that. And then I got a City Select Double when Aria was born. And then once Aria um, was in the city, I really struggled to like get up curbs because Mika was at the front and Aria was near me. And having like, a one and a half year old trying to lift up this buggy that was like nine feet long I just couldn't do it so then I ended up Ben's parents friend just gave them an out and about nipper double which was a side by side buggy which was like the best buggy ever I absolutely loved that um but then Mika decided at age about two and a bit that she wasn't gonna go in a buggy anymore so I sold my double and I bought um, a something flip. I can't even remember what it's called. An armadillo flip. And I got it half price. I got it for 200 quid, half price, brand new. And it was literally the worst buggy I've ever pushed in my life. It, like, because when you're trying to hold the toddler's hand and steer a buggy, when you've got one hand, you couldn't steer it with one hand. It was just like trying to steer a really heavy bowl of jelly with an elephant in it. It was absolutely horrific. Um, and it wouldn't turn and trying to push it on anything that wasn't like the smoothest laminate was just awful um so i actually ended up swapping that with some girl on facebook for a secondhand eye candy peach three um and i loved that that was amazing that was so good i could steer it with one hand whilst holding mika's hand um it went off road it was brilliant but then when aria was about i don't know two and a half three she didn't want to go to buggy anymore either so i sold that and my mum got me a five pound stick stroller which i have in the boot of the car now for when Ari falls asleep um so we went to look for buggies after that ridiculous ramble and i have fallen in love with the eye candy peach three all terrain and it's brand new it's only been out like a few months and oh, I just love it. It's like camo. It's not camo, but it's like camo colour. It's like forest green. Um, it only comes in one colour. But it's a grand. It's a thousand pounds. Which I'm never going to be able to have. I know I'm not going to be able to have it, but I want it so much. It's ridiculous. Um, and I think because this is my last baby, it'll probably be our last baby, I'm like, oh, I want it. Um, so, yeah. I need to find an off-road buggy. I think there is an older version of it. Um, which was called a peach jogger so if you've had one of those or an experience or if you've got a recommendation for an off-road buggy let me know um because yeah next year this time next year obviously the baby will be about five or six months old um, and we'll be going to the lake district with my mum which is just lots of walks across fields and mountains so we will need we need it for where we live now and we're going to need it for the future so yeah i'm kind of like in my head trying to justify the eye candy because like you get the bassinet you get the bassinet but you get the seat you get it's three wheels but you can also change it to four wheels for like when you're in the city and stuff you get the clippy bits to put the car seat on it's got a really big basket i'm just in my head i'm like shut up lucy you're not having it but i want it um i think i took a picture of it actually i can show you because it's just beautiful did i did i um but yeah it's been a nice week, not been too sicky, just generally an okay oh, screenshots. This is it. I love it. 
and these two front wheels come off and you can change it to a one wheel so then that kind of makes it off-road but it's got suspension and the seat is massive i put mika in it and she's fine and she's four and a half i'm um, not i wouldn't push a four and a half year old around in a buggy um unless they had needs that made me do it um but both my kids neither of them go in buggies now unless i is asleep and that's only because we used to just carry her around um but she's too heavy for me to carry now she's asleep she's like a log you can get her out the car tuck her over your shoulder and go around the shops and she doesn't wake up and then you put her back in the car and she'll still stay asleep um so now i just like chuck her in the stick stroller um yeah so that was my 15 weeks i've got my um 16 week appointment on monday uh i will film i'll probably film right after that to be honest because then i can tell you what happened at the appointment i've also booked a gender scan very very excited um for when i'm nearly 17 weeks i cannot wait i know you obviously get one with the nhs at 20 weeks you get your your um 20 week scan but um i'm impatient and i want to know now and the girls want to know so we are having a private gender scan um and then we're gonna we're gonna get them to write it on a bit of paper put it in a balloon and then we're gonna get the girls to pop it so they can be really involved with finding out what the baby is um i never did gender reveals with the girls we just went to the scan and they told us and we told everybody and yeah it never occurred to me before but because the girls are at that age where they want to be involved now and they're really excited and they're always like they'll find a toy and they'll go there's a baby toy and then they come and put it in this box which is really cute so because they are so involved and so interested i wanted to make it as fun for them as possible so yeah Mika thinks it's a boy, but she doesn't mind what it is. Ari says it has to be a girl. So we will see very, very soon. I will keep you updated. Let me know how you're getting on in your pregnancies. Um, or if you've got new babies, how are you doing? Um, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Um, and I will see you next week for hopefully after the 16 week scan the 16 week appointment we'll i'll hear the baby's heartbeat and i'll try and record that if i can um at the midwife i don't know if they still do it they used to do it uh but we will see so hopefully on monday we will get a heartbeat uh recording which would be really nice um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you all very soon bye guys <laughs>